The first lot of modernity that brung us out of feudalism was about science versus superstition, about men getting the vote, about women getting the vote, freedom of speech and welfare states. Problems were mostly around how best to dominate nature, extract raw materials and divide them democratically. During reflexive modernity, in the words of one of the theorists who coined the phrase, the human species is now faced not with the problem of harnessing or controlling nature for the benefit of humankind, but essentially with problems resulting from techno-economic development itself. In the words of Mike Aitken, we should think of reflexive more in the sense of reflex than reflection. In other words, the notion is about social development arising as a reflex to previous decisions or activities which may give rise to unintended or even surprising consequences. Why is it useful for thinking with? Because it gives you a long-term and sociological perspective. It's not the Anthropocene. It's true, but um, it's um, a master concept for things like ecological modernization, post-ecological thinking, and other stuff that nobody else seems to have made YouTubes about for some weird reason. What do you have to watch out for with the concept? Well, the strength of the anti-reflexivity movement, all them denialists, and the partial blindness of, to power that reflexive modernization geeks seem to have. 